A brand new storyline in Detroit this afternoon. Back with Jim Cotton, Sam Ryan, Matt Vasquez in a 3-3 ball game as we head to the top of the fifth. Jed Lowry, Brandon Moss, and Joanna Cespedes for Oakland. And now it's uh, Anibal Sanchez turn to see if he can come up with a shutdown inning. He has to go through the middle of the Oakland lineup. Well, those innings are so important to a starting pitcher just to keep the, the flow and the rhythm of the game going for his team. Well, Sanchez has had a hard time so far this afternoon retiring the leadoff batter. They have reached base safely in all four innings. In fact, Reddick led off the fourth with a solo home run. Yeah, his off speed pitches haven't been as crisp. The curve or the the change uh, his best pitch has been that two seam fastball coming in on the left hand hitters riding back across the corner. Lowry Moss and Cespit is here in the fifth. This part of the order has been held without a base hit so far this afternoon. The foul tip gets a piece of Alex Avila he can't hang on to it. Notice the mask of uh, Al Avila. I was talking to Ray Fossey, former catcher for the A's, who's taken plenty of blows. He's now gone back to the old steel mask for a long time. Catchers using a titanium. He's taken a couple blows on foul balls. Of course, concussion's a big issue for catchers these days. Six strikeouts this afternoon for Anibal Sanchez. Here's Brandon Moss now. I tell you, Sanchez did what uh, what Parker couldn't. As uh, they used to say, when you left the the dugout as a pitcher, old Broadway term, get that leading lady, get that number one hitter. That's most important. And Moss quickly behind 0-2. Yeah, he's dealing now. I mean, that's it's almost like smelling the finish line for a starter. You you're back in the game. That that has some good drop to it. Must have been. A changeup. You could see it in his eyes. It's almost like this is his ninth inning. He's saying, if I can shut him down here, get my team back in the batter's box, it'll have a big uh, influence on the outcome of this game. A couple of A's hitters here that can change the dialogue with one swing of the bat. Moss hit 30 during the regular season. And after the home run derby at City Field this summer, everybody knew what Ioannis Cespedes was capable of doing. He waits on deck. Boss with a drive to right. Torrey Hunter doesn't even move. That one is gone. Brandon Moss was one for eight with seven strikeouts in the series until that swing of the bat. Here's Joanna Cespedes now. Oakland back out on top by a run on the second home run of the afternoon for the A's. And it marks the first time since last September. That Anibal Sanchez has been touched up for more than one home run in a game. Yeah, now he's uh, he's throwing some grudge fastballs right now. He reached back and threw those two uncharacteristic. There's his reaction. Yeah, I'd say he wasn't pleased with that. No, and, and now he's rushed three of them up there. It's taken him completely out of his rhythm. Two balls and a strike to count to Jonas Cespedes. A perennial Sanchez problem waits on deck in Seth Smith. What do you think of that uh, that homecoming king tunnel thing that the A's do after a home run? It's nice. Yeah, there's uh, you know I, I'd rather see that than guys dancing in the end zone. <laughs> they have that uh, they have that kind of I, I call it almost a high school camaraderie. And I mean that as a compliment. The yeah. Cespedes swings and misses. Yeah, it's not you're drawing. You're not drawing attention to yourself. It's a team thing for and, sure. And that's good. And that's kind of how they go. 
nothing really jumps out at you on the stat sheet with Oakland. Yeah, Moss hit 30 home runs during the course of the regular season. But it, as the national media may have been concerned, they were a quiet 30. That's not a fair statement, but that's kind of the way it was. Well, it's like their third baseman. He's a, a quiet MVP. There's the home run tunnel. He's a quiet MVP candidate. When you look at the, he won't win it, but uh, Josh Donaldson put up some pretty impressive numbers. You know, back to your uh, back to your, your football thing to take nothing away from the uh, the. 80s vintage Washington Redskins, but the Oakland A's the last couple of years have been something of a fun bunch. Oh, yeah. And Cespedes has a base hit with one away in the fifth. So here's Seth Smith now. Unless this this could also be part of the ploy. If your relief pitcher that you want to bring in isn't ready, you tell the pitcher, throw the first base a couple times, and then they'll ring the phone or raise the hat and say, now he's ready. I think he'd like to bring the left hander in. Yeah, Jose Alvarez getting hot in a hurry. Ball and no strikes the count to Seth Smith. He has singled and struck out today. There had to come a point in this series, and we've apparently reached it today, where the home run would play a role. All the home run thunder that the Tigers bring in terms of the backs of the baseball cards and an Oakland A's team who for the second straight year have led Major League Baseball in home runs after the All-Star break. Offering home to Smith is fouled away and it's one and one. Seth Smith with plenty of postseason experience, not only with the Oakland A's, but two postseason dances in his time with the Colorado Rockies. The storyline last year in the division series, as far as Oakland was concerned, was young players with a lot of postseason inexperience that no longer applies this year. Bob Melvin deservedly so gets a lot of the credit for what's happened in Oakland a 94 win campaign last year 96 victories this season. He's not a manager that likes the attention same can be said of Jim Leland. But with much less and I mean no disrespect Bob Melvin has put the A's position by position in a place to succeed for the last couple of years. The next offering is Smith. That one stays upstairs as well. And now Sanchez has fallen behind three balls and a strike with Josh Reddick up next. And Billy Bean would get a lot of credit for that also. You know, the, the money ball film didn't really portray Billy Bean as to what he's done. The, the A's success hasn't been about money ball, it's been about good pitching and, and picking up bargains like they did this year. Billy Bean's done a good job of providing Bob Melvin with that kind of talent. It's awfully tough to shake that tag, you know. Yeah. I mean, when when they make a movie about you, and when Brad Pitt's in it, right, they're going to think you're that forever. And that it really that's that's not what this A's team is so wasn't, much. Wasn't what that one was either. It was Zito, Mulder, and Hudson, three great pitchers. Well, I don't I don't know if this is sent in from from the. I mean, he he's only inspiring Cespedes a little bit more because. It's kind of proven they haven't been able to throw base dealers out. He hasn't been able to to hold them or to deliver the ball to the plate quickly enough. And anytime you're throwing over that off of it, the 3-1 count, you got to get your focus back on making a pitch to Seth Smith. Might just be taking out a little frustration throwing that fastball to first base. Cespedes is just seven for 14 as a base dealer this year. Ah! Oh, close at first base. My yeah. goodness. 
And that wasn't even the good move that time. No, I think uh, Cespedes has taken a little nap there. I mean, he got to pay attention. Well, if he went in belly first, he could get there quicker with the oven mitt. He's wearing that big protective mitt over his left hand, and you see that a lot around baseball these days when players get aboard. Smith with a drive into the opposite field. That ball's well hit and carrying. Peralta back, and that one's gone! Well, Oakland's third home run of the afternoon. That'll knock Annabelle Sanchez from the mix, and the A's have taken a 6-3 lead. Santa Maria. Very unlikely results here this afternoon. Nobody saw this coming. Sanchez unable to finish five. He gives up three home runs and he yields on the bad end of a 6 3 score. So now it's Josh Reddick facing the new pitcher after the T Mobile pitching change. It's the left hander Jose Alvarez. I'm sure Jim Leland right now he, he started to head up that step that looked like a time or two and said, Well, I'm going to give Sanchez one more hitter, which was a bit surprising. Smith had had a lot of success. Against Sanchez, but the past history and as successful as Anibal has been, uh, you know, you get a little, you get a little street credit for that, and your manager will hang with you for a while. Shocking. As tough as it was for runs to be scored, and now all of a sudden each starter gets three runs, and neither one can go out and shut the opposition down. So. You know, as usual, these games end up in the hand of the bullpen. The first two is primarily the dominance of the starters, but most games these days, and that'll be the case today before it's over. This is reminding me of a, the night that you and I spent here, the afternoon you and I spent here almost a year ago, as Reddick goes chasing. Here's Steven Vogt now. He has tripled and scored a run today. The American League's ERA leader. Driven from the afternoon after giving up six runs in four and a third. Jose Alvarez for his part. Was named the Tigers minor league pitcher of the year this season. Eight and six with an ERA under three at Triple A Toledo this year. Two balls and a strike is his count to Stephen Vogt. Count down to three and one with Eric Sogard waiting on deck. Oakland felt a lot better about their chances at the start of the series once into the Detroit bullpen. No disrespect, but you'd feel better about anybody if you can get past Furlander and Scherzer. And there's ball four to vote. So a two out base runner aboard now for Eric Sogard. The six runs on eight hits for an Oakland offense that had really been non existent the first two games of the series. And Jared Parker has that cushion to work with once again. Sogard dumps a fly ball into shallow right. Hunter is there to put it away. Nothing further in the fifth. However, a pair of home runs. Have reclaimed a three run advantage. Moss and Smith go deep. And it's 6 3 A's. Next half inning, we'll visit live with Oakland Game 2 hero Sonny Gray. Next.